are very busy days for me. I don't know why that is. But I am a person that is very creative and I've started realizing that with said creativity, I need a schedule to kind of keep me on track so that I'm able to get stuff done instead of just laying in that bed behind me all day and watching Netflix. That being said, it is time to create today's schedule. because I have here in my hands some Spanish contracts for Zenith. I'm going to sign them and these are going to be sent off to Mexico. I would love to show you what they look like, but that would be giving away things. Um, so you could just see I sign right there over yonder. But it's really fun to know that like readers around the world in places that you may never have even been are going to actually be reading your words. I don't have any deodorant left, so I'm stealing my husband's. Love you, babe. Do you hear that sound? I don't think your AC is supposed to sound that way. Nope, not at all. Okay. This is a problem. Hey, babe. Hey. Um, the, the fan in my car is broken. I turned my car on and off like four times and okay. if I put my car, if I put the AC on like the highest that it can go, it like screams at me. Okay. So now, someone looks hungry. You hungry? You're not gonna speak today? Are you hungry or what? One of my favorite things about living in a small town is that when you go to the post office or any government building, there is literally not a line. some lunch because I am hungry and on days like this I forget to eat. <laughs> take a break from writing to work on the church's social media sites so I'm running like the Facebook and the Twitter so I gotta figure out kind of like a social media I don't know plan of attack to figure out how to do all this and what to post and all that kind of stuff but now it's time for a lunch break I just finished with lunch now I'm gonna sit down and read a little bit of this book for a while and then I have a conference call right after Reading is one of the most important parts of being an author because if you aren't reading, do you have a problem with me? If you aren't reading books, then I don't think you're going to be inspired to write books. Conference call right now with um, Harlequin, um, I think some of the marketing people, some of the cover design people, and then Sasha, my agent, her agent, um, everyone that is involved with Zenith, and we are gonna be talking about some fun 
things with the series and that's all secret so I can't share any of that with you but I have to go outside because we have a metal roof um, we live in the garage right now and so I literally don't have service um, in the garage I have to go sit outside in the heat talk on the phone because I can't do it from the inside <laughs> call is over and my dog decided to get into the nasty come here come here koi pond and now she is getting dried off you are gross gross animal i feel like i've reached a point in my career where i've been writing books long enough i've been doing this long enough but now i'm starting to lose momentum and i feel like you should never just settle for okay I'm comfortable being an author, now I can like back away from like promoting stuff or writing stuff. Like, No, I feel like if you're complacent just because you've had a little bit of success, it doesn't mean that the hard work stops. And right now we're in the midst of trials and a lot of hard work to come. always really daunting when you have like a whole manuscript in front of you that's completely unwritten and you realize that there's a blank page and you're just terrified all over again. It doesn't matter how many books you have on a bookshelf that you yourself have written. Every time you're facing a blank page you're gonna feel like you are freaking out <laughs> and that's what's happening right now. That's what's happening. First, it was a little crazy just trying to get my mind back into working. Um, I've been working on my Secret Why novel for so long, so changing things and working on this has been just a little crazy. Um, but we're going good. We're, we're moving. We're moving at least. I'm going to work for a little bit more and then let me consult my schedule and see where I'm at for the day. Now comes the very worst part of my day and that, my friends, is running. I was trying to run, but someone's making me feel guilty. What? Watch this, I'm gonna run, he's gonna start screaming. Hear that? Are you gonna run with me? Come on! We're running together. It's the greatest workout partner I've ever known. a brownie and bachelorette after a long Monday. See you guys next time.